Yo, what's going on YouTube? ACL Official back with another Real vs Fake video. Today, we've got the Real vs Fake on the Hermes belt. This is the H buckle belt. I've done an unboxing video on it, so if you want to check that out, the link will be in the description. Before I get into this one, you'll probably know that Hermes belts in general are widely faked, so you've got loads of different versions of fakes going around. The real ones have been around for a really long time as well, so the models change slightly over time, as we saw with the Cartier um, real versus fake. So I will show you some tips which should help you be able to legit check your own Hermes belt, but just bear in mind that it might not be consistent all the time just because there are so many versions. So the very first thing you want to look at is the ribbon. Um, if you look at the print on the real one, which is on top, you can see how defined it is in comparison to the fake one below. The fake one, the print's really blotchy, it's not consistent, so that's a big tail right there. If you also look at the artwork on the left of that Hermes sign, where you've got the horse, if you look really closely, you can see there's just a massive difference in the artwork quality and the clarity on it. Um, even those little dashes going across the top and the bottom, you can see it's really inconsistent on the fake one. So those are going to be the major tiles to look for on the ribbon. Um, color wise, the color is different just because the top one is the new 2017 version. So it will differ from the older colors. Before I get into the box, I'll talk about this bag quickly. So the fake one did come with this bag, but as you can see, the quality isn't the best at all. Um, it's really creased all over the place. It just feels really crappy. So just look out for low quality um, bags, packaging, things like that. There was some extra stuff in this fake, which I'll show you quickly. Um, first of all was this receipt, and obviously look how faded it is, like you can't see anything on this at all. They may as well have just given you a blank piece of paper. The other thing that came was this. Um, this comes with a lot of fakes. I don't actually, I think it's like some Hong Kong type receipt or something. But if you're like buying something from someone who lives in the UK or America, and you're getting something like this, it's just a massive red flag, so look out for that. All right, then once that's out of the way, the next thing is the box and the actual belt inside. So the first thing you'll notice with the fake boxes is actually the wrong color. And if you look closely, you can see how it's kind of pixelated. The printing isn't consistent and there's almost like these little white holes in it, you can see. That's on a real one, the print will be a lot thicker and you won't get that inconsistency there. So I'll show you the real one now. As you can see, it's a lot thicker and there's no little holes of discolorization or anything. I don't know how well that's going to show up on your computers, but hopefully it does help. Um, the other thing is that same tail I just showed you also applies to these black lines going around the outside edge of the box cover. So on the edge of the fake box, you can see what I was talking about again. When you compare that to the real thing, as you can see, it's just fully black. There's no issues at all. Two other things the fake belt came with was this packaging here and these stickers. I don't know what these are meant to be for, but yeah, I just wanted to show you what the fake one came with, just so it could help you potentially know what to look out for. So one quick tell was just the actual um, quality of this tissue paper. As you can see, this one's completely opaque. You can't see through it at all. This one's a bit lighter. It's a minor thing because the tissue can change, but um, it's just something I thought I'd add. So once you get inside the box and you've got these little casing type things, but if you look at the fake one here, the color looks a bit too light. And also the quality of this kind of like, it's almost like suede. On the real one, it's much higher. This one literally just feels like, it's obviously just, they're both plastic, but this one is really like low quality. It just bends really easily. The real one's a lot firmer, structured, um, holds the belt in place. I'll show you the other side just for the sake of it. As you can see there, the difference in structure is pretty clear. This one's bent and cracking all over the place. This one's just solid, no issues. So the next thing I'm going to show you really quickly is the dust bag. What you want to look for is the alignment of how the Hermes logo has been printed on and also just how defined the artwork is. As you can see, it's quite a consistent theme of the fake one that the print is low quality. If you look at the real one closely, you can see how even though it's just a dust bag, it's like crazy detailed, a lot of definition in the horse and the person and the logo has been aligned really well. On the fake one, as you can see, it's not been printed straight at all. And yeah, it just looks really, there's just no definity in the design at all. Also, if you look at the stitching across the top, low quality, it's not straight, you've got loose threads coming out all over the place. And these drawstrings are way too short as well. If you look on this one, you can see the drawstrings come all the way out here. The stitching's on point. But yeah, that's all on the dust bags. Um, as always, I will have side-by-side -side pictures on Instagram, so Make sure you check out the link in the description if you're not following me on there already. All right, so now we're onto the actual belt buckle. They are different sizes. The real one is the men's 32 millimeter H buckle. 
the fake one, um, I don't know, 38 or 42 millimeter or something. So this part here is probably gonna be the main bit of use. Um, it's not very clear on either, but you can see just about on the real one, which is on top. It says Hermes Paris made in France. And then I think that's the size and to the left of that. I can't really see it properly. If you look on the fake one, I can't even really see what that says. And it doesn't even look like it's been printed the correct way around. The other thing to notice is, so they're both supposed to be men's um, Hermes belts. The real one obviously is because it's tapered on both sides. You can see how you can see how it's got that tapered finish on both sides. If you look at the fake one, although it was supposedly a men's belt, you can see that one side's square and the other side's tapered. And that basically means it's a unisex one. So if you are getting a men's belt, just make sure that both sides are tapered like the real one was. There's a few extra side-by-side -side shots if you needed them. And then you've got the other end here. Um, the inside, I won't bother showing too much of because it's just black, there's nothing there. Um, the belt is reversible, so you can wear it either way. All right, so we'll look at the buckle to finish off. What you want to do here is just look at the general quality in the finishing of it. So if you look at the real one on the right, you can see the edges look just a bit sharper. The finish in general just looks a bit more clean and high quality. And when I'm talking about the finishing, if you look at the fake here, as you can see there, there's a bit of like scratching and stuff just going on there. Like on a real one, if you're buying it brand new, you're never gonna get mistakes like that. You can see again there on the other side, you can see that scratch there. I'll show you the real one in a minute, but before I get onto that, it's just worth showing you on the other side here. You can see that says Hermes 18K. Um, so the old, some of the older belts did say Hermes 18K. What I was trying to show you there was that the writing is really faded. So if you look at the top half of the Hermes and the 18K, it is fading quite a lot. On a brand new belt buckle, that shouldn't be the case at all. You can also see there it says made in France. Now, if we look at the real one quickly, we can see it doesn't have any of those errors that the fake one had. You can see the gloss on the corners, no scratches. You can also see the difference in how well that Hermes has been engraved into the belt buckle. Um, it is on the bottom half, by the way, just so you know. If you look at the Made in France bit two, there's a little code underneath it. Now, I'm aware that some of the older Hermes belts don't actually have that code there, so that's not really a tell, but it's just something extra I wanted to show you in this one. So that sums up everything I wanted to show you on this Hermes belt, real versus fake. If you have questions, leave them below. If you need legit checks, you've got to DM me on Instagram. If you've got tips that relate to the video I've just done that you think can help other people, then feel free to comment those below. Um, leave a like, make sure you subscribe, and yeah, I'll see you guys again on the next video. Peace.